Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM interview questions. So today and upcoming session we will see what are the various questions which which are normally asked during the Informatica MDM interview. So let, let's start the today's session. So before going to start today's session, let me tell you a how the way we are going to see this question so most of the questions are very straightforward so you can get the answer of such questions directly uh, if you know the basic understanding of the informatica mdm hub apart from that there are several scenario based interview questions which are mentioned in the slides or upcoming interview upcoming interview question slides which will be uh, based on the real time scenarios so let's start one by one so first question normally asked during the informatica mdm interview question is they normally ask explain your informatica mdm experience related to the mdm hub configuration user access idd and safe that is services integration framework so if someone asks such interview questions so you have to elaborate with respect to mdm hub configuration such as how do you configure the landing table, staging table, BO? What are the configuration you made for the match and merge? So these things you have to basically explain. For the user exit, you have to explain what is the user exit. Uh, what are the user exit you have used in your project? And what is the business reason for that? Then the IDD application. What is the purpose of IDD application you created? how many users you are having for the IDD application and what are the operations we are perform using the IDD application you have to explain. As we know, see if it's an integration layer, so normally we develop this web service or the EGP for the real-time applications. So you have to explain the business scenario for which you use the SIF. The next question might be asked and that is how many sources was present in your recent project or the last project and what are those so you have to make sure you to remember all the source system which were configured in your recent project it is not necessary you have to remember all the names for example if your last project contained 35 sources you no need to remember all of them but basic concept you should know number of source system and the staging table there is a relationship so it is possible that the staging table number is multiplied by the source system so that that number of staging table might available in your source in your mdm application so make sure you are aware about this concept and you have to just make a note of the all the source system how many landing table staging table base object tables were present in your last project so this is also very common question which is normally asked during the informatica mdm interview question we know that mostly bo and the landing table have the same number but the staging table are totally depend on how many source system you have so based on suppose you have the 10 base object it is normally you might have the 10 sources 10 landing table even you have the multiple source system they might contribute to the single landing table but the staging table are totally depend on the source system Suppose you have the 10 BOs, the staging table and the, you have the source system, the suppose 3, so the staging table will be 10 into 3, that is 30 staging table will be there. The next question is, what are the processes involved in the informatic MDM? So this is little vast question, so you have to explain all the processes such as stage, load, match, merge, that is the consolidation, tokenization, this process. You can click this uh, link to uh, have the be more understanding about the various processes involved during the Informatica MDM operations. What is the SISH process and what is its what is its signif significance? So this is also a question and it is a very important question because at the stage process various things happen such as uh, delta detection, hard delete detection, along with that we have the various tables such as PRL, RAW and the questions will be arise how do you answer this question. 
So if you want to little more detail about the stage process of a delta detection or the hard detection, you can click this videos here. Where do you configure audit trail and the delta detection? So after answering what is the stage process, this question might ask by the interviewer to the interviewee. So you, if you want to know more detail about the these questions, you can click this video so that in this video, little more uh, things are explained. What are the configuration you used for the audit trail and the delta detection in your project? We know we configure the audit trail and delta detection at staging table, staging table level. So you have to explain where you are configured, and of course you have to give the business reason why you and what is the how means how what is the duration you are maintaining the audit trail and on which business column you are enable the delta what is delta detection how do you enable delta detection so of course if you explain uh, if you mention in your answer like suppose you are enable the delta so this question might ask what is the delta detection and why do you and how do you enable the delta detection the next question is what is full data load and what is incremental data load so this is the basic question for the um, delta detection so while answering your delta detection concern you might have mentioned like for the full data load is only we use the del uh, delta detection in this case the interviewer might ask what is full data load and what is incremental data load so if you see this a delta detection video you will understand what is full data load and the incremental data load how do you use delta detection with incremental data load <clears throat> basically this is a tricky question because it is not possible to use the in uh, delta detection with the incremental data load so interviewer might uh, trick you by asking such a wrong questions so delta detection is not possible with the incremental data load Delta detection is always carried or it is achieved only for the full data load. Now this is a scenario based question. So interviewer are trying to ask you like the scenario based question in order to determine whether you are really work on the project or not. Or sometimes they might ask such question because they are might are facing currently and they want someone to resolve or someone to give some ideas so how do you express your ideas are based are totally analyzed based on this asking senior based question and this question is suppose you are running stage job with the delta detection enabled while running stage job delta detection is successful but the stage job failed to insert record in the staging table how do you handle the such situation okay so to answer this question you have the you should have the basic understanding of the what is or uh, how the stage process work so in the stage process suppose you enable the delta detection that means the prl table comes into picture so prl table is nothing but the previous landing table which holds all the records from the previous run now suppose you run your stage job so what happened the landing record will be compared with the parallel table and the delta will be determined suppose a, a landing table contain 110 and the parallel contain 100 record so 10 will be determined as a delta now suppose the delta is determined but the while inserting record into staging table job get filled so in order to determine the next delta next time how do you achieve that so in this case it is very difficult to determine but you can truncate the PRL table and run the stage job so in that case 110 record will be pushed into the staging table and while running the load job all the record like 110 record will be pushed into the uh, will be participate in the load job but only 10 records will be either inserted or they updated into the base object so in this case even delta is not determined but then the load job we actually get the 10 record so in this way we can resolve the issue the next question is what is when the prl opl raw and rigid table get created okay so when you create a stage table at that time a rigid table and stage table get created 
but PRL raw and Opel table get created only when you create mapping so you should be very much firm on this uh, answer that PRL OPL and raw table only get created when you create a mapping reject and staging table STG table will be created when you create staging table what is the use of PRL raw table what is Opel table so if you want to uh, see the answer for this question you can see my this video what are the reason for the record rejection there are various re uh, various reasons for record get rejected such as if your PK source get populated with a duplicate or the, the same PK source which is already exit if your not null column contains null if your uh, last update date contains a future date or a not null column contain a null value so these are the basic reason along with there are some other reason during the load job also if lookup value fails then record get also rejected so if you want in detail view of the what are the ex what are the all the reasons of the record rejection you can click this video when prl rage stage and the raw table get clear or the truncate okay so these are the very uh, this is a very interesting question and it will check how much you are understanding about the MDM processes PRL table get truncated every run so when you run the stage job PRL table get truncated stage table is also get truncated when you run a uh, stage job reject table only get truncated if you ran load job more than okay if you ran the stage job more than your load job suppose you ran stage job twice but you ran only load job once then the reject table get cleared raw table get truncated or clear based on the what retention time you have provided and or the what is the number of loads you are defined for the raw retention so based on that the raw table get clear than the truncated how have you used any data quality tool along with informatic mdm uh, such as informatica data quality so informatica data quality is uh, a tool which is used and standardized and cleans the data it is not necessary every mdm developer has to work on the data quality so, but it is always a uh, additional um, advantage for those who are the informatica developer if you have the already knowledge of the data quality tool if you don't know the data quality then you have to clearly mention that you are not work but if you have work then definitely you can mention yes you have work for the data standardization such as addresses and the first name last name etc what is the use of cleans function in the mdm as we know if you don't use the data quality tool then they might ask have you used the cleans function to standardize data so you should know aware about the cleans function if you don't know about this you can click this video you will get detail about the cleans functions what are the clean functions you are used in your project so far so you can mention normally we use is null uh, then we use to check uh, choose string uh, then we have the to string or the date parser so these are the very common cleans function we use in a day to day but if you have any uh, complex logic then we, you can use read database or any other clean function so if you have used those you have to mention in your answer how do you use the read database clean function so there are various steps involved so you can see my video to explain for this question about reading the database using the clean function so these are the questions which are normally asked in the interview so this is part one of the informatic MDM interrogation. In the upcoming session, we will see more in informatic MDM interrogation. I hope this session will definitely help you to prepare for the interview. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice time.